Hey everybody, welcome back. This week we have something a little unusual, a little different than the Realtor Spotlight. We have the artist herself here who did all of the artwork in our office. Um, if you've been to our office, you know that all of this art is so unique, it's so special. Um, it's usually in the background of a lot of our videos. Um, so we're really honored to have the artist herself here. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Thanks, Maya. Hi everybody, my name is Cassie Tumlinson. I, I'm the artist, as Maya said, of the artwork here in the office. Um, I grew up here in Sedona, and, uh, and a lot of the work that I do even today, even though I'm not located in Sedona any longer, has be really been influenced by all of the beautiful landscape that we have here, as well as the artists that we have in Sedona. So Awesome. So, but not all of your artwork is Arizona influenced, correct? That's true. I really like the influence of Sedona, but I also paint a lot of figures. And the figures for me are more of uh, metaphors which describe beautiful processes or other kinds of ideas or issues that we face today. There is one picture in Nicole Miller's office that has to do with creation. And so I'm using a woman to describe how beautiful the process is and you can see the different types of creation that we have from the animals to sea life to light and darkness. It's all there in the painting. Awesome, so. we love that. I, Thank you. Um, so is there something that you like to paint the most? I would say that I prefer to paint figures, but I also really enjoy coming back to my roots, which would then be the Arizona landscape, the animals as well. Um, here in the office, there is a couple of desert trees, which are some of my favorites to paint. I try to, to describe the, the dried, dead trees uh, with colorful life left. Because as you know, although they no longer live uh, as far as being able to produce so leaves or something, they still provide shelter for animals and they're a permanent feature of our desert landscape. So yeah. I add a lot of color to give the idea that they're still living even though they may not produce leaves anymore. Yeah, I love that. I think that art in general is really subjective and I mm -hmm. think that when you hear from the artist, this is like, you know, the muse and the idea behind it all, it just makes you appreciate and enjoy the art even more because you look at it in a different way that you did. Mm -hmm. um, I know for me, I, you know, these are just, paintings that have been on the wall in my office but you know after speaking with you I'm like wow that's really cool that's Thank you. that is something that I, I didn't notice the first time so I love that Thank um, you. so is there anything that you're currently working on I just currently had my first solo show so I'm really proud of that I had 22 pieces that I showed in Munich Germany and uh, I showed everything pretty much that you see in the office, the um, water designs that I have, uh, the abstract water designs, I have a series. Also the series of the female figure as far as the metaphors go and the describing of different uh, natural issues that we face today from climate change to the beautiful workings of our ocean and how beautiful that they function right now to bring awareness yeah. to how nice we have it today so hopefully yeah. that we don't use lose that as well as some of the natural things like our trees and uh, a play on light so right now I'm in the process of starting a new series and so I'll be working on that as soon as I go home for my nice vacation here in Sedona very cool so do you do any custom work say someone comes in the office and they love that um, a lot of the homes in Sedona they build or get custom pieces for their house um, a lot of the houses are built by them. So they want their art and they want all of the things in their foam to be custom. Do you do custom artwork at all? Absolutely. In fact, custom work is some of my favorite work because I really, really enjoy working with the customer. You know, as to what they like, I ask a lot of questions to get an idea about, you know, something that really moves them as uh, well as looking at what they currently like. Um, I really do enjoy working with the client and I have done quite a few custom works. And I also come to Sedona very frequently, so I'm happy to work in my studio back in Munich and bring work with me. That's absolutely no problem. I'm happy to. Awesome. I would be happy for that. So. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, so anyone, you know, a lot of the people watching um, have done loans with us or they're realtors who are currently working with clients who need to outfit their homes with new art. So um, that's really great that she can do anything custom for you in your home, especially um, or mostly of the Arizona landscape, the rocks, javelinas, cactus, Coyotes. all the things. <laughs> yeah, so that's really perfect for 
for this area. Mm -hmm. So how can people reach you? Well, people can find me on Instagram, just under my name, Cassie Tomlinson. We can definitely leave the yeah, contact okay. information, as well as a web, my website. I have um, contact information there. Okay. So it's pretty easy to find me, and I will definitely respond to any inquiries. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on. This is such an honor. Um, I will leave her information on the next slide, and everybody reach out to her. Even just to peek at her website and look at all of her work, or stop in the office and look at her work. It's Truly one of a kind. So, thank awesome. you so much, Maya. No problem. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah.